Hey everyone, welcome to Fireblocks Academy. My name is Chris Jameson. I'm Director of Enterprise Programs here at Fireblocks. And in this video, we want to take you through at a very high level the crypto capital markets. Now, we're not going to get into a ton of detail here. We just want to give you the basic broad categorizations for how to think about the capital markets uh, in a very basic format. So let's go ahead and dive in. Now we think there are basically five different layers to the actual capital markets themselves. The first layer we will call the ledger or protocol layer. This is where you will find the actual blockchain protocols as well as the tokens that sit underneath them or sit on top of them uh, to be as well as the miners and validators that are actually out there creating new blocks in the blockchain. Now the next group or categorization we can call the transaction or execution layer. And this is where we'll have people that are exchanges, we'll have market makers, we will have OTC desks, we'll have lending desks. But the basic function here is to actually help facilitate trading and you could think of them as liquidity makers. The next layer is relatively easy, but this is the, which is called the end user layer. And here you'll have retail folks like myself or you, you'll have family offices, you'll have venture capital, you'll have private equity, you'll have hedge funds, and you'll have traditional asset managers. Now, the other way to think about this is that these folks are essentially liquidity takers. And essentially how all this works is that the folks in the end user layer will essentially take these tokens down in the ledger and protocol layer and actually transact with them in the actual transaction or uh, execution layer. Now, another layer, kind of tangential to the protocol layer, is what I would call the DeFi layer. And in the DeFi layer, end users can essentially take their digital assets, place them in a smart contract, and either borrow or lend in those tokens or assets that they are transacting in to earn a little bit of extra yield or get some extra liquidity. The final categorization, services. And these are institutions that are gonna provide uh, enterprise grade or institutional grade services to the actual crypto capital markets players. Now these could, this could be tax, or admin, it could be compliance, it could be custody, it could be infrastructure or infrastructure services, it could also be uh, fiat on and off ramps, which is essentially taking crypto, turning it to cash, or taking cash and turning it back into crypto. So, to summarize, this is a very broad categorization of the crypto capital markets. There are basically five different layers for you to think about, again, from a very high level, that being the ledger and protocol layer, the transaction or execution layer, your end user layer, your DeFi layer, and your services layer. That's it for now. For more educational content, please join us at Fireblocks Academy at www.fireblocks.com backslash academy. Thanks so much for joining.